Hello and welcome back to Minecraft 1.19. I still cannot zoom in, so yeah, we, we will just have to live with it. It is out. It is now nighttime, and we're picking up exactly where we left off in the last episode. I have made a little bit of a campfire here trying to cook some beef without using fuel unnecessarily or coal unnecessarily because we do need it for torches and other things. But yeah, that should do for now. But let us now sleep and we'll get to the episode. Oh, wait, I need to enable my shaders. And let's see how the night looks. Oh, yeah. All right. I'll see you in a moment. All right, it is morning. Now, what I want to do in today's episode is build a house. Because I, I can't stay at this camp forever. It's not that great. It's muddy. And yeah, I, I need a house. So... For building a house, I need a build site, and I need to find out where I want to build said house. Now, I have three different locations that I have as potential. One, I Ooh. One is right here in the middle of the swamp, actually. Oh, dear. Yeah, you, you're hostile. Um, yeah, one, one area is right here in the middle of the swamp. I thought it would maybe be cool if we can chop down like six or something like that of these trees and then make a huge hole and then plop our house in that. But it's not that great for foundation as you can see. Um, there's not much to walk on and I would probably need to make a bunch of bridges which would also be very cool. Oh. Interesting. Huh. And I can't sleep through it. Anyways, uh, I found two other interesting locations, which for that we need to head south. Yes, in this direction. Yeah, another possibility would be here in this kind of area where we have actual ground we can build on. That is probably going to be better than our current campsite. Uh, can I turn this down just a tad? There we go. Uh, so yeah, this is a good possibility as well. But I found another place which looks really interesting uh, just south of here. Yeah, like an area like this would be perfect for building as well. So actually, this right here? Hmm. Hmm. Now, I would... I would hmm, hmm, hmm. I'll note it down. But here we are. I have found this very cool looking beach. So, this is a beach and we would be able to have the house right there, for example. And we would have... The new mangrove swamp as a background, but the only downside, I guess, is there's not much good view here. There's that, that island over there, which would be very cool to make into my, like a, a lush cave themed biome over there. I think that would be cool. Please go away. So, yeah, we could have... I don't, I don't know. I like both ideas, but I just spotted now a room portal over there and a shipwreck there. So, let's head on over there. I sat there too many times. Let's head over to the shipwreck <laughs> and see what we got, as well as the rune portal, and I'll figure out where I want to settle. I, I am very bad making decisions like this. I'm slow, and I, I can never decide. Let's first, however, check out the shipwreck, as that might have some pretty good loot. Oh, coral leaf, reef, that's cool. Right, one chest. Feathers, one piece of paper, and a buried treasure map. Ooh. Okay, I think that... Oh, wait. Nope, that's got to be another chest in here. There's the treasury chest. And yes. That is actually really, really good. Oh, wow. Yep, that was definitely worth the stop. And now this over here. And then apparently we have a buried treasure map, which we might be able to get to. It doesn't look to be too far away. All right, a ruined portal right here. With a lot of obsidian. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. That's enough obsidian here. We just need a diamond pickaxe in order to, whoa, in order to complete it. Um, I mean, this armor is more than what I already have. So I guess I'll take that as well as the flint and steel. Yeah, not bad. Where's this bird treasure map? North is always up, and I know that is north. So, down here somewhere? Plop down the amazing boat with chest, and we shall go this way first. East, which is right on the map. Whoa, look at that. That looks amazing. And there's a jungle over there as well. Yeah, maybe, put, maybe putting the house on the beach isn't that bad of an idea. I don't think I've ever had a buried treasure map 
taking me inland. Like, this is interesting. Should be there soon. Ooh, mangrove prop cool. Sapling thing. And I should be right on top of it. Interesting. Oh, and there it is. Oh, wow. Okay. Ooh. Oh, water breathing potions. We got gold. We got plenty of iron. TNT, food, always welcome, prosperity, crystals, and heart of the sea. And I will take the chest and throw the... Actually, you know what? I'm going to save this. I'm going to put this in an item frame. Not too bad when it comes to loot. Well, with that, I'm going to head into my boat, back to where I came from, over to my camp, and I will have to decide where we are going to plop down our house. Doing it on the beach, though, is, um... Hmm... Definitely something that I'm starting to lean towards. All right, I have found the place that I want to settle, which means I need to pick up all of the stuff to charcoal. All, oh dear. Yeah, all, all of the stuff gotta get transported. Um, yeah, I think I'm gonna go ahead and take most of what I need and I'll be back for the rest. I don't think I need anything else from this chest. I have the coal and everything, yep. We just need inventory space at this point. So, I found a spot over here that is in the center of the mangrove uh, swamp, which gives us a perfect advantage because that brings us close to a bunch of other biomes. Now, I just need to find uh, the torch that I placed. Aha, okay, found it. So. Right away, I'm gonna go ahead and set my spawn because, yeah, that I don't want to lose this place again. Okay, so this is it because we have a lot of open ground here, a lot of, well, mud and dirt to work with here. I think this is going to be, and like I said, it is fairly s centered in the mangrove swamp. So, what we just need to do is build a house. Well, just what we just need to do. <laughs> After the house is built, we can make paths to the different places and probably getting a horse is going to be ideal. But, well, now comes the tricky part and that is chopping down these trees. And I think the easiest way of going about this is going to be doing that from the top. So finding the log and just digging down, I think. I think Thing that is probably the easiest and the best way of going about this. Maybe. But there we go. I think that's one tree. Of course, I do need to remove these as well, which will be very useful in the future. I have gathered materials, but I've also cleared out a huge area and put out a little bit of a foundation or at least quote unquote drawing of where I want the house to be. And I think this is actually going to be pretty good. It's going to be a pretty decent size. We're going to have a staircase going up here. The house is going to be kind of lifted up and then we're going to live up there and we're gonna have a little bit of a basement down here but despite me gathering all of these resources the wood and the roots and the leaves and the mud i need one final ingredient and that ingredient is wheat wheat is the one thing that i'm missing to be able to make packed mud which i need in order to make mud bricks so i need to get wheat and this is taking way too long. But I found out that there's a desert village in this direction and that is where I'm going to go. Hopefully everything is going to go well. I'm going to quickly head back to the old camp. I need to find my boat. I'm not sure where that is but when I find my boat we are off. Now it's not just going to be any village. It's going to be, oh dear, it's going to be a desert village. So that is going to be perfect because they should have plenty of hay bales ready for us to 
Burrow. Of course. And my boat's not here. Wonderful. Well, it is only fitting that we will have a mangrove boat to sail around the world with. So, we're gonna head in this direction. I believe we're gonna hit some ocean at some point. And then on the other side of that, there should be a desert. And it shouldn't be too long before we're there. What's this? Is that Lapis? I think that's Lapis. What's Lapis doing here all the way at the surface? Huh, we're not that far down. I didn't know Lapis could generate this close to the surface. Is that new? Huh. Well then. Oh, look at this. This is a huge underwater cave thing. That looks sick. We'll have to explore that at another at another time when we actually have water breathing potions or something like that. Okay, that is the shipwreck that we looted at the beginning of the episode. So, I should need to just head in this direction. Oh, well, that's where I placed my boat. Well, this is a true boat. This is a mangrove wood boat. Oh, would you look at that. We got company, a pillager outpost. We will have to return at a later date when I'm not just in gold armor. That can break very easily and isn't that strong. So we will return at a later date. This is as far as we can go with the boat. I'm gonna have to chop it, put it in my inventory and we're gonna cross the desert on foot. The desert is actually really bright with these shaders. Uh, hmm. Ooh. That's a temple. I mean, I'm not gonna say no, <laughs> that's for sure. Maybe we'll get our first diamonds. I don't think we have gotten any diamonds so far. Check the area, could be creepers roaming around. Nope, think we're good. Okay, that's, that's interesting. That deserves a screenshot right in the center. Anyways, we're heading down into the very dangerous chamber. I'll break that before anything bad happens. Uh, let's take a look. Iron. I'm gonna actually take all these bones and whatnot because, ooh, oh, yes, efficiency five. Wow, yeah, I'm gonna take all these bones and whatnot. Ooh, two diamonds, I think. Yep, that's our first ever diamonds. Would you look at that? That's awesome, and a golden apple. Very welcome. Also the string and the bones, that's also very welcome as well. And of course, we cannot leave without taking the TNT. And no one will know that we were here. Well, the sun is... Oh, I was just about to say the sun is setting and I didn't bring my bed, so I hope we find the village soon. But here we are. The village has been discovered. And I hope I'm right about the, the hay bales, otherwise this will have been a fairly... Nope, I'm right. There we go. A fairly long trip for nothing. Um, Can I borrow a bed anywhere, guys? Please? Maybe? Is there a spare... Nope. Nope. Okay. I mean, it's for your own good. If I... Okay. Nope. Uh, hey kitty cat. We should tame a cat soon. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna, yeah, I'm borrowing this. And just like that, it is now morning. I wonder if this village has anything good to offer. I don't think so. None of these houses have has chests in them. But, oh dear, hello. Nope, not happening today. Right, I am very low on wood. Oh well, I was gonna make a hole to get these, but yeah, I'm gonna... I'm gonna just have to man up and use my fisticuffs. But, uh, but yeah, this should be plenty of hay for the house that we are going to be building today in this episode. Uh-oh, I hear more bad guys. Oh, yep, yeah, that's a lot of bad guys. Okay, and a creeper. Don't blow up. Actually, I don't mind. Okay, there we go. We'll take this. this. Okay, that's a lot of bad guys in here. That's a lot of skeletons. Yikes. I'm happy I have an axe that is this powerful. Ow. I have thorns on some of my arm, I think. Don't blow up. It's my precious wheat. Ow. This gold armor can't take much damage. Got it. Okay. I think I'm good. I think I'm good. Oh yeah, I have thorns three on my boots. Okay, well, I will hurry up and grab this, and then we're moving on. Well, I say moving on, but we're actually gonna head back home. <laughs> we have a house to build. All right, in total, 53 hay bales and a bunch of other loot as well. A very successful trip. By the way, did check with the locals when I told them about our cars here of making a 1.19 house. They were like, oh, for sure, take it. They, have, they apparently have a secret safe house where they have tons upon tons of food, so... Yeah, they, they, they aren't missing anything. So they were like, take it, by all means. We support your cause. And now I see the sign here. I definitely want to grab it. A little bit of a sidetrack, but... 
can't say no to iron. And I might grab a little bit of coal as well. Don't want to overstay my welcome here, though. There we go. Yep. Heading home. I'll see you. Well, in a second for you. A little bit longer than that for me. But, uh, yeah. I'll see ya. In just a second. So now that I have these 53 hay bales, I believe that I now have everything that I need in order to get started with this project. At least... That's my hopes anyway. So I'm gonna get a stack of wheat and I believe this is what you do and you get packed mud and then you combine the packed mud and you get mud bricks. Lovely. So far so good. I do believe that I will also be needing, uh, yeah, yeah, some, we'll, we'll get some muddy mangrove roots as well. Uh, I'm gonna put these aside. We're definitely gonna need all the logs here and a bunch of the leaves and I think that that is going to be the resources that we require for now. So, I guess we should just get started here, but first I do need to build a few things, such as mangrove stairs, a few trap doors, I'm not sure how many, slabs of course are important, and of course, we need doors. That rhymed, and I think this should be good for now. Right, so, first off we need to build the skeleton for this thing, and that is going to be like this. Now I'm just winging this. I don't actually know how this is going to look when it's done, but uh, here we go. No turning back, I guess. But I think I'm liking the shape of this so far. My plan here is then to add, I think, some mangrove stairs here facing that way. Actually, scratch that. I'm gonna put planks here and then stairs down here. And then maybe stairs leading up here. Yeah, I think that'll work. Because then I was thinking either using mud bricks behind this, kind of like this, or I was thinking of using this, the muddy mangrove roots. Hmm. For a house, I think the bricks would make a little bit more sense. So I think I'll save these for a different occasion. One thing I also notice is we will have a floor up here, so these kind of have to move, which means these stairs will probably have to be... Yep, like that. I like that actually a lot. So mud bricks behind here. It's such a satisfying sound as well. And stairs. So technically I should follow the same kind of theme here on this side as well, but we are going to have some stairs here leading up to the house. But this could be the doors, you know. Again, I'm kind of just winging this as I go here. I'll definitely want some sort of platform here. I think that'll work. So the doors would then be here and then we can have... I think this is good. And stairs leading up to... Yes. And then doors. Perfect. And a bit of detail. Detail. Hmm, yes, better. Eh, yeah, that's... Mm-mm, mm-mm, mm-mm. That's better, still a bit off. I might move the staircase out a little bit, but for now, I think this is fine. Also made sure to make a bit of glass here so we can make some glass panes. This is a big no-no from me. Doors shouldn't be flush, not on the outside. Yep. Better. Let's add a floor. And I think I want to move this over actually, or maybe, maybe I want to leave that here, move it over a section, and then kind of go inwards. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that actually. That probably didn't make any sense, but it will in a moment. Also going to extend these pillars up now. I'm going to go down here to this corner, and I'll continue in that direction, I think. Maybe. I could also go that way. It would be kind of square though. I don't want the house to be squared, I don't think. I would like maybe a potato garden or something down here. Maybe that could be cool, I'm not sure. Uh, decisions, decisions. Anyways, I think I'm gonna go ahead and use mangrove stairs here. Not sure I want to put in glass panes that I can remove them if I don't want to, but I do think that for this window, I think it would be nice with some glass panes, I think. I think that would look decent from outside as well. Yeah, that's not too bad. And I have an idea for this as well, but first sleep, and then we continue the build. I run out of stairs so incredibly, annoyingly fast. Mm 
Mm -hmm. Yep. I think it would be very cool to have some very big windows in this part of the... Oh, they don't connect. They don't connect to the stairs. Why don't they connect to the stairs? <laughs> Uh, that would have been so sick. I want a big window so I can see what's happening outside, but I think I Think this might work. Yeah, I think this is fine. Okay. I've decided I definitely want to expand the house in this direction uh, Just not sure how much one two three four one two three four five six hmm. six Six. Now, how is this then gonna work? Yes. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Those fences need to go all the way around. I did not realize how much they added to the structure. <laughs> wow. I'm really, really liking this, you know. All right, let's keep on building. Maybe I do something a bit different here. I think I do. I do think this is going to be a pain for when I start to build the the roof later on, but that's going to be a later me problem. Later me already hates present me. <laughs> I can tell you that much. He is not happy. He, I can hear him screaming from the other side of the world. <laughs> no. What on earth? <laughs> Basement door. Got it. Basement door. Yep. Solves everything. Yes. Yes. Perfect. Now this is a bit of a pickle, ain't it? Hmm. Mm hmm. Yes. This. Uh oh. Now the brakes. Uh huh. Uh huh. Perfect. Yes. Perfect. And for the first time, we are going to sleep. In our own house. Granted, we don't have a roof yet or have the walls completed. <laughs> but we slept in our house. Feels good. Don't know why I didn't finish that steak. Now for the walls. I'm not looking forward to this. I don't think I want completely closed off walls. I don't think I'll mind having a few windows in here. We're also finally moving the crafting table up because I'm sick of going down here every time. Don't be alarmed, but I'm running a little bit low on mangrove wood, which is actually a bit alarming. So may maybe do be alarmed. It's costing me my final mangrove planks, but... I think it'll work. I'll need more to finish it, but see this as a little bit of an observatory to look into the darkness of the mangrove swamp. At night, I think that would be very cool if we could maybe put a light under some of these roots. I think that would be an epic view. This we can just make into... Actually, since this will be a basement opening, we could just do this. Yes, we do like plenty of windows here. So far, so good. But we have a little bit of an issue. I need more wood. I do want to keep these trees here because I think they, again, they add to the to the darkness of this place. However, I will need to go out and maybe chop down a few more of these trees, which is fine because then we can make a path over. We can make a, maybe have a storage silo thing over here. Okay, maybe another silo, but a storage thing. I do need to expand on this as well. And of course, I do need to do the roof. Which, as well, I'm not 100% sure how I want to do it. If I do it in pure mangrove wood, it's going to be very, very red. So I'm thinking of maybe making some mud brick um, stairs and slabs and maybe see if I can make the roof that way. However, that is going to require a lot of mud. So I do have a little bit of resource gathering, so I'm going to go ahead and do that. In the meantime, why don't you go ahead and leave a like on the video if you're enjoying it so far. And also, be sure to subscribe to not miss, and enable those notifications as well, to not miss any future episodes. Because I'm really enjoying the series so far, and I hope you are too. And also, share the video with, with a friend if you enjoy it. Would help out a ton. But anyways, I'm going to queue into some resource gathering. And I will be back when that is done. Hey buddy! What, what, what do you think of my new house? 
Huh? It's ugly. How dare? Okay, to be fair, it's not done. I I know what you're thinking. It's not done. I, I'm I'm working on it. Okay, it's shush, it's shush. I I know. I'm working on it. I'll be right back. I uh I may have gotten a little bit carried away. I may or may not have in between clips here completed the roof. <laughs> <laughs> now, actually, it actually went fairly smooth, and I'm actually really happy with how this turned out. I'm surprised it didn't go completely horrible, especially at this weird shape that was going on here. I actually think I managed to do that pretty well. Like I said, I'm pretty happy with how this turned out. So, yeah, that's a job well done. At, well, at least the roof is done on the outside. I'll get to the inside in just a moment, but I also in, improved the staircase here. I extended the platform out with some stairs and added a fence, so now there's a little bit more room to stand and just enjoy the swamp. Now, on the inside, uh, the incomplete part is, well, yeah, that's this is not looking that great. <laughs> <laughs> However, one thing that I do wish to have is an attic, so I'll probably start adding a floor like probably here or up here or something like that. Um, so yeah, I'll get to work on that next. However, I do want to find some way of incorporating leaves and stuff like that to the house. I also, because I would like, I was experimenting earlier, because I would like to break up some of this red that is right here, but I'm not sure how I'm going to do it. But first things first, I do want to add some lanterns here. Now for the leaves, I'm not sure what to do. Making them as almost like, like this, in my opinion, just looks weird and doesn't look great at all. Could try something real quick. Add those there. Uh, guess it could work. It does add a little bit of greenery to it. And maybe if I grab some vines and oh, I have moss. Maybe put some of these on as well to kind of break up the redness and they'll grow eventually and will look very swampy. Yeah, I think I think that will work. You know, I don't think this is too much of a horrible solution to add some greenery. I think I'm happy with that, at least for now. Could even add some on the sides here. Yeah, I think I'm actually pretty happy with that. But enough of that, I think what I should probably do next is work out some sort of attic. And is this, am I happy with this roof height? Because if I am, that'll make my life a whole lot easier. Because otherwise I would have to do it here and there's not a whole lot of attic to work with. But then again, an attic is an attic, it's not supposed to be spacious, it's just supposed to be a place where you can have some extra storage. Yep, I think, I, I think I've got to go with a higher roof. I think I'm going to enjoy that a whole lot more. I'm actually thinking of making the attic this big, and then have a fence where I can still look down on the rest of the house, and I think that would look kind of cool from down here as well. I really like that idea, but I need to figure out what I want to do then with the roof. Because if I start adding stairs all the way up, it kind of limits the amount that I can actually look down, and I don't want that. Eh. All right, I think I'm going to wait with this roof for now. I've added some stairs here, which definitely improves the look down from down here anyway. But with these, all of this up here, I've got to wait with that because I'm not 100% sure how I want to do it. And also, I want to hear you guys' suggestions down below in the comments. Plus, it doesn't look that bad. It doesn't look that bad. I might just leave it. Anyway, I need a way to get up there, and I think I've just found it. I think I... Nope, nope, no, I have not. That's not... Nope, that's... Nope. Hmm. Aha. Uh -huh. Aha! Using the swamp and the nature around me to work with the environment. That probably didn't make any sense, but you get what I mean, I think. <laughs> I like this plan. Now I have a fun and natural way of climbing up to the attic, and I can then have a bunch of barrels here, maybe a bunch of chests, double chests leading out of the barrels up here, maybe something like that. I'll figure something out, but yeah, that's kind of what I want to use the attic for, I think, or maybe for my bed, or maybe both. You know what? Both will probably work. Can have furnaces and whatnot down here. Could even add some shelves using the, you know, the trap doors, and we could have chests up here, especially up here. Yep, I, I'm loving this house. And now I think just for the final thing, I want to add a little bit more green to this. So I think I'm gonna add some sort of carpet here. I think. 
might not even do it in a specific pattern. Might just put some in and let it kind of develop, maybe spread out a bit. I don't want it all the way to the edges, also because that will allow me to place things down. But this will kind of give this room a little bit more color, break up the red a bit. And I think that's good. But anyways, guys, I think that with that, this project is now complete. Of course, we do still need to add a bunch of things like I want to improve this area out here. Maybe we can add some farms going up here. Plenty more to come in the future. I guess I can move this furnace in. The campfire can stay because that's, of course, very nice to have. But yeah, I think that is going to do it for this episode. And this is exactly the view I wanted to have into the swamp looking very dark and scary. Like I said, if we could get some sea lanterns or glowstone or something like that underneath some of these roots or in the background there, that would look really, really awesome. But yeah, that's going to do it for this episode. I really, really hope you have enjoyed this one. If you did, be sure to leave it a like. And if you do, do consider hitting that subscribe button and enabling those notifications. Also, finally, if you want to support me even further, you can go ahead and support me over on patreon.com slash binary vigilante. Helps me out a ton and it's greatly appreciated. But guys, that's going to be it. Hope you enjoyed, and I hope to see you in the next episode. Have a wonderful, wonderful day, and goodbye.